The first new and updated mods of the year are out now for Farm Sim 22. In total, 18 mods were released on the in-game mod hub. All platforms got two new and 11 updates. A lot of updates today. Current gen consoles, PC and Mac players got one update, and PC and Mac players themselves got three new and one update. We're going to be looking at all the new mods today and reviewing everything that got an update, including one that we're going to take a closer look at. If you like staying updated yourself with all the latest mods and news of FarmSim, hey, make sure you're subscribed. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have the map Delusion. This is a very hilly map, as you can see. That is extreme undulated terrain, and the fields are going to be a lot of fun if you've got a low-powered harvester kind of like the one that the map starts you off with. Uh, this is pretty simple, but feels spacious thanks to the cell points on the four edges of the map. Fields are medium and large in size, or as I would say, small to medium. Uh, medium to large is the modder's words, not mine. Uh, they say there'll be no problem with big machines, and I agree for the most part, but a lot of these trees are going to get in your way. Make sure you got headers that you can put on trailers for this. We got 127 fields, including meadows. Three points to create your farm, biogas plant or BGA, sawmill, four viable forestry areas, very hilly terrain, and AI splines on dirt roads for your helper to deliver goods straight from the farm. So this should be a very friendly map to helpers and things like that. Here's what you own in new farmer mode. Not a whole lot. You've got your farm itself, which is farmland 42, and then we have field 5, which is farmland 18 at the top. Field prices are pretty darn high if... <laughs> If I do say so myself, as you can see here, uh, half a million dollars for that weedy, weedy, weedy piece up there. One nice thing, if you want to get any forestry done, uh, you could probably cut some of the trees down in this part of the map. The outside of the map itself, it's free. It's Farmland 255, and it's free. Go buy that immediately. I'm surprised it doesn't start you with that in new farmer mode. Here's your growth calendar. It doesn't quite look like the base game. It looks like there's some stuff here that's been changed up. So if you're curious, here's this. And here's what we get in new farmer mode. A couple of these are mods that are required, but they're only mods. These should not be required. Uh, we have the Zeta Proxima HS90. We have the New Holland TX32. I believe this is a giant software mod. Uh, but it's required for some reason. Uh, we also have the Pickup 2017 Velga Trailer. We've got the header that goes with the Combine. We've got a base game Plow, Cultivator, and another required mod. The D830. Uh, yeah, uh, regular mods should not be required mods unless you have to have them. And if you're curious, here's the whole list. The Amazon D830 Pack, New Holland TX32, Small Vehicle Workshop, Dutch Shed Pack, Fence Wall and Gate, and the Double Rod Matte Fence Pack. And your only other new mod today for all platforms is the Agricultural Hall. And then they call it a Machinery Hall in the description, which is super duper confusing. Uh, and here we have a couple sets of doors that you can move out of the way. You can see we've got the first set there that move over to the left hand side we'll come over here and click this button and those move over there as well you kind of move them around which is nice the original trigger point is going to be exactly where they were and then the middle it's kind of nice because it also moves however <laughs> something i found if you uh switch sides with them like this then you can still shut it so just don't let it get too confusing. Jumping over to our mod updates for all platforms, we have the Reaper 2000 Harvester from Mac Trucker 921. This is going to be version 1002. They've added an unrealistic speed version. And you'll find the unrealistic speed version, the new one, right beside the old one. This is exactly the same on the inside. However, everything goes 50 miles an hour. One thing to note here, you are going to need a header that can go 50 miles an hour unless you just want to transport from one point to the other 50 miles an hour. That's totally doable. Uh, I would definitely recommend using the Tool Hut Control for Headers mod from DD Mod Passion. Uh, there's a case header in there that'll work perfectly with this since it's based off of the 9240 or 9250 on here. Now you can also use some other stuff like from the Colossus pack, things like that. But remember, you're not going to be going 50 miles an hour unless you have a header that could go 50 miles an hour. At least on consoles. Next up, the Case IH2150 Early Riser Planter Series. Version 1.1, slipping bug has been fixed and minor fixes overall. Next, we got the flatbed trailer version 1.1 added tension belts. German Grain Mill 1101 collision fixed, I, I think, or they've added a new look. I'm not sure. There's two changelog 1.1s on here. We've also got an update to the Polish corn dryer add-on version 102. Improved the linking of the warehouse with silos placed separately. From now on, grain poured into the dryer is only in the dryer. And the horizontal fodder mixer. 
Weird name. Version 121. A proof of the linking of the warehouse with separate placed silos. From now on, grains poured into the mixer are only in the mixer. And the decorative pack got updated. Version 1001. They've added two new benches, one wooden bench and one cement bench. The next spot I think is a re-edition because it is showing as version one, the British grain sheds. However, there's like 57 uh, votes on here. So pretty sure that this has just been re-added. So if you're looking for it, I think it's back. We've also got a couple map updates for all platforms. Fruling 2K23 version 1.2. Digit this update does not require our new game save the manure system for hose functionality has been installed on the manure trigger of the cow shed that's a pc only thing by the way there's also a new trailer that's been added the ab 550 or 550 ruling edition with 5500 liters for milk water and liquid fertilizer we've also got updates to la cornella and Comlands, both by shaba the interesting thing is they both have the same change log they're just worded differently so on la cornella version 125 new warehouses were added for new premium expansion products all new products and sub products were added to the different points of sale and they've increased the description version it comlands is version 1.2 various field adjustments and adaptation to the new premium expansion products now you can sell carrots parsnips and red beet at the tuber sell point and increase the description version to me those both kind of sound exactly the same if you guys play on pc mac playstation 5 or xbox series x and s you have an update to the fictal v2 map version 1.1.1 circular saw has been installed with new products and sawmill production rate has been increased and new decorative objects related to the workshop theme were installed jumping over to new ones for pc and mac players who have the labouche joskin bell trailer packs what we've got here is three different trailers then we have them in joskin it would be nice for this to release and because joskin's branded on consoles would be nice just kind of have the the joskin build trailer pack and maybe have this one for pc and mac players maybe next time this includes a couple different sets we have a uh, double axle we have a triple axle and then we have a uh, different triple axle the layout's a little bit misconceiving because the smallest one is first then the largest one and then the one in the middle so it's really just going to be linked here they are auto loading for bells which is nice all standard end game bells will be loaded up including baby bells which is super duper neat wheel brands we have long march we have continental lizard trelleberg michelin and back in again designs we have a storage case at the bottom or nothing auto loading is yes and no attachers you can throw a trailer hitch on on the back if you want to doesn't come standard but it's nice to see square bells round bells round bell extension or back to standard again if you want to st stack them up yourself and we have a couple different colors for the lamouche setup it's gonna be the same for all of them then we have a setup for the joss kit we'll choose the largest version here wheel brands are going to be exactly the same the design is going to be the same auto loading yep attachments yep we've got the same mechanisms and we have our license plate. Now, the one thing that we don't have on the Joskin is that main color, but everything else is the same. Again, be kind of cool to see this without that uh, wheel brand right there. Be nice. Consoles, let's go. Next is the Dallin 2197 Timber Claw. This hooks up via a uh, front loader. And then we have a couple different setups, including teeth, front plate, or nothing. As they definitely go with the teeth at the very least. And then attacher type, we have Euro or sms so again like i mentioned we have this for front loaders weighs about half a ton by itself looks good and your last new one for pc and mac players today is a mod that says it requires the manure system but i actually don't have the manure system installed and it's still in my game which is very very nice so this is the tripod hopper this allows you to dock from your tractor to the tripod without dismounting your tractor or getting out of it uh don't get your hands dirty don't get anything in the cabin anything like that's what they put in the description anyway none of that matters in farming simulator this allows you to basically hook up and uh, move slurry without getting out of the tractor but still using the newer system maybe some of these pictures can help you you can see here that we've got our bomb act on the very back and that's hooking into the uh, tripod hopper there at the bottom the small version being shown uh, there we can also hook that up on a three point and move it around and then both of them shown here being transported and our last mod today in the only update for pc and mac players version 1001 of the bird feeder fix the pathfinding and grid bugs and cleans up the temporary xmails after use well, that is it that is all the mods i have for you for today it is great to see new and updated mods returning for farming simulator 22 i didn't think we were going to be getting new or updated mods till next week 
so it's good to see them returning today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Goham fam. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.